not want to leave at all. Like, he just basically we want to start a fight whenever we go up to him. January 11th, after the Valencia Mall is closed, this 911 call brought out an L.A. Sheriff's deputy. Um, do you want us to come there and trespass him? Yeah, basically. A lone deputy found 50-year-old Christopher Mercurio near the entrance of Macy's. I'm just coming over because the security for the mall. Yeah, I'm oh. not going to move at all. Okay. I will actually kill every that comes here. The deputy tried to reason with the man, even as he showed signs of mental illness. I am security for the whole country. Security video from the shopping center shows the way Mercurio continued to move toward the deputy, even as her warnings became urgent. You better step back, dude. Step back. I'm going to f*** your ass up. Okay, you better step back right I now. I said get the f*** out of here step now. Back. Step back right now. I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight. Sit to this fight. He struck her in the head and face, which brought out this response. Get up. Stop. You I'm don't just f*** me. shoot you. I'm going to shoot you, dude. Shoot. Get off me. Get up. Get up. What's the urgency? Request a backup. We often ask retired LAPD Sergeant Cheryl Dorsey to analyze officer-involved incidents. She believes the deputy made a mistake that led to the man's death. When you have the resources to confront him, then you do. There's no reason. I, I, I certainly would never put myself in a position as a lone female to uh, confront a man. I would never do that. Homeless advocate Andy Bales perhaps surprisingly sides with the deputy. I feel so bad for the family uh, who lost the gentleman. Uh, but in her circumstances, I will see whether she had any other option but to fight for her life and to protect her gun and protect herself.